If you look at the so, moment, so does that you mean look that at the if moment. We get the border adjustment tax. That means the dollar will adjust. I mean, it sounds like the same argument. Yeah. So if we do the if we do the border adjustment, uh, my guess is that the dollar will rise substantially. I don't think it's a very good idea because I think it will cause financial problems all over the world because all kinds of dollar debtors will be uh, hugely burdened. Do you think I think the people who think that border adjustment will give us some huge competitive advantage are probably wrong. But yes, I think there will be substantial but not complete dollar adjustment if we pass the border it's adjustment, border tax. It's interesting when you say that because it's all the importers who are very worried well, about it, and yet to me it seems to be the exporters that should be more concerned because the cost of their I think dollars. They both, so they're they're I think everybody company. I think everybody should be. I think everybody should be concerned because it's a venture into the unknown. Because the dollar will rise, but it won't rise enough to fully protect the importers. How do you know that? And if you're operating on a thin margin. If the dollar rises 20 percent instead of 25 percent, that can be enough to destroy 100 percent of your profit margin. Even if margin. your tax rate's gone down dramatically. Even if your tax rate's going down, if you don't have any profits, it doesn't matter what your tax rate uh, is. And if you're operating on a three percent margin and the exchange rate misses least, by five, misses by five uh, percent, at least the peso floats. Larry, China has pegged their currency to ours. So if we move, they move within a within a tight band. What do we do about China? Pay to, pay, the Mexico it sounds like it will naturally. Where are you guys coming from? Where are you guys coming from? It's like I've never, heard such from? I've never heard some such mercantilism. China mercantilism. Mer I was yeah. just asking a question about China. Yeah. What okay, do we so do? Let's talk about China. So China has spent a trillion dollars in the last 18 months trying to protect its currency from collapsing. Yes. China has imposed far-reaching capital controls trying to prevent its currency from collapsing. The idea that China is somehow manipulating its currency downwards when it's spending a trillion dollars to keep it up no, that's is, not, is no, a crazy, is uh, a crazy then idea. We, then we agree, Larry. Oh, what, I'm, what I'm saying is the, the peso naturally has moved down because of concerns about trade barriers and wars, and et cetera. What can we do? And there will be a natural adjustment. Well, part of what there. we can do what to can stop these currencies from collapsing China when when they're doing all this stuff to keep there probably it up. isn't there probably isn't a lot we can do. Well, one thing we can do is we can stop making provocations that have the effect of driving the currency further. Another thing we can do is not follow policies that look like they're going to create a huge fiscal monetary collision and drive the dollar way up. Another thing we can do is get rid of this border tax idea, which creates the expectation that uh, the dollar is going to fall and therefore puts further downwards pressure on uh, the Chinese peso. The point is, the things we have done have pretty systematically been in the wrong direction uh, for competitiveness uh, since the election. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.